July 1, 2014, this nine-year-old mounted at Palmetra and uh, that was three months ago and has been cured. Now, at that time, there was no time to do dental scaling as a uh, that was uh, being a spade. And uh, for old dogs, the shorter the, the anesthetic time, the better. So now we do the dental scaling. Now the, the owner actually came because of this uh, crusty ears, as you can see. The dog been scratching the ear, and uh, she wasn't really interested in Palmetra. She had been given a ear ointment by Dr. Daniel. Obviously, there is chronic otitis external. Now, this scratching of the ears is uh, both sides. As you can see, and you can see the crustiness also. Now, if if you uh, don't take skin scraping of this crustiness, you have thought that this is just a simple otitis external, which is not actually. And uh, you will see the other ear. The other ear, I will just show you. It's the same scratching. So you see the wound. So the, the owner is only more worried about the wounds and uh, to cure the wounds. These wounds are due to the dog scratching. But if you look carefully, there is crustiness on the ear edges. And uh, this is very suggestive of sarcoptic mites. And uh, so if you continue treating with the usual uh, might wash, then it's no use, you see. Now let me just show you that, that this dog has dental scaling and this nine years old huh? and uh, the, the owner agreed to do it when I talked to her. If not, uh, she just came for the ear treatment. Now many vets will just just concentrate on the ear treatment and then uh, don't advise the owner about the dental, which is actually more important. So under one anesthetic, we will need to do ear irrigation. Wait, let me see something. Okay. Ear irrigation and uh, dental as well. Yeah. Under one anesthetic. July 1, 2, 1, 4.